everyone, it's Ellie. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about the Sephora VIB haul part two that I have made. So I wanted to share with you everything that I've ordered either online or went back in store to get some more. Just couldn't resist uh, getting a few more things. You know how it goes. You watch other people's uh, VIB haul and then you just end up realizing, you know what, I probably need a few more things and then you just end up with enough to do another haul and yeah. First thing, I want to start talking about these because I am super excited. NARS came out with some new cheek products and it's just one of my weakness. It's one of the first thing I've actually splurged on, NARS blushes. Technically those are bronzers, but they came out with this summer collection. Four new bronzers, technically two are just the same name. I don't know exactly if they're the same color. I haven't swatched them yet because you need to look at them. So this is what they look like. They don't have that rounded shape that they usually have. It's like literally a rectangle but look at this how am I supposed to swatch something that looks like this I just don't want to touch it it looks way way too pretty this one is the color seaside which is the lightest one it's definitely on the warm side so if you have like a cool undertone you really don't like something that is orangey not recommending this but this is absolutely gorgeous I needed to get it and then the second one I got is Laguna and I'm pretty sure, I haven't swatched it, but I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same color as their usual bronzer. So if you just want to get it for the new pattern, definitely recommend picking it up. There's two other shades, and the next one up is Casino, which they already have, once again, if you want the new uh, pattern on it. And then the last one, the darkest one, is the shade Falaise. So if you are looking for new bronzers, I definitely recommend checking these one out. Well, you can definitely swatch them without ruining them. That's a good news. If I compare the two colors, you can see that Seaside is definitely a lot warmer. You can almost use it as a blush if you want to, but I saw the packaging and I just knew that, not the packaging, but the pattern on it, and I just knew I needed to grab one or two. I'm definitely really, really happy with these and I cannot wait to start playing with them. Let's go with what's on my lips. I had talked in my last haul about uh, this, Gorgeous lipstick. Have you seen the packaging? I'm still not over it. These are the new Tarte uh, Rainforest of the Sea Color Splash lipstick. And this is one of the colors that I had bought in my last haul, which is uh, Salt Life. And that's the color I'm wearing right now. It's gorgeous. I love it. And I wanted to get some more shades. In store, they had like not much. I don't know if they're going to get the full line or not. But I decided to order online and I didn't know which colors to get. So I got this one, which is Beach Babe which is more of a nude color. I like that this one isn't like too cool tone, too warm tone. It's definitely like a little on the neutral side. So it's definitely like a beigey nude. The next one, I don't know. I, s I haven't swatched it yet actually, but I saw it online and I wanted something a little bit more summery and I don't know, actually let's swatch it. It might, it's definitely a orangey color, but actually if I wear it as a peach lipstick, that might actually work. So as you can see, that one was uh, Sun Kissed. And with a little bit of a tan and just wearing it as a peach lipstick, that would actually be really pretty for summer. So, okay. For a second when I was seeing it, I was like, eh, I'm not sure it's a little like orangey, but it's definitely darker than I thought. So it's not really a nude on me. So yeah, that was Sun Kissed. If you haven't tried these, they're definitely pigmented. They're very, very moisturizing lipsticks, which I've been going towards more and more. Still totally in love with matte lipsticks, but I feel like during the summer, I don't know, I've been really feeling a moisturizing, shiny lipstick too, clearly. Maybe I'll start wearing gloss again. Who knows? <laughs> this palette got back in stock pretty much the day after I did my haul, my first haul. So I needed to grab it. And it is the Natasha Denona Eyeshadow Palette 5. And this thing is so freaking expensive. But why 5? It's actually number 2. What does it say? Oh, maybe fives, because there's five. Ooh, rough day. It's Saturday morning. I'm like trying to film this video and post it today and I'm still sleeping. But yeah, it's a palette number two. And is there a color? No, it's just number two. And I saw it in person whenever uh, a new Sephora opened and everything was in stock and stupid me didn't grab it. And I regretted it ever since because it was sold out absolutely everywhere in stores or online. <sighs> The sad news about, the sad news isn't really sad news, but the Natasha and Denona eyeshadows might be worth the money. Which, they're so expensive, but once you swatch them, and like, I feel like once I do it, I'm gonna regret it. They're absolutely gorgeous, and you swatch them, and they're like so creamy. It's just, it feels like butter. And I really like this specific palette. The colors were absolutely like up my alley. I will definitely get a lot of use out of them. Yeah, 
they're, they're great. You just can't go wrong with these. So I will definitely have to play with them and just decide if they work on my eyes really well. But these swatch, like there's still so much product on my fingers and there's so much product right there. It's just insane and I'm in love. So if there's a palette you were looking at, I definitely say they're definitely like creamy and intense. It's been difficult to get my hands on this, but I think it's actually gonna be worth it. Next, Kat Von D came out with some new lip liners and she also came out with some new liquid lipsticks. And what I did is that I bought all the shades that I didn't own, which crazy, I know. But I wanted to take the time to actually say thank you to you as a viewer, subscribers. Every time you subscribe, view my video, like, comment, it definitely makes a huge difference. And what I do is that I take the money that I make for my channel and I reinvest in it by buying lipsticks and then just swatching all of them. So that video should go up tomorrow. I'm going to be swatching 41 of the uh, Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks because those are all the colors that will be sold at Sephora. There's technically right now on the Sephora website 42, but there's one of those shades, uh, Armageddon, uh, which is going to be uh, discontinued or at least not sold at Sephora anymore. So that's why I decided to just swatch these ones instead. So yeah, I have been a busy this uh, week. My lips are absolutely hating me, which explains why I'm wearing a moisturizing lipstick right now. It was one hell of a journey, but it's done. And yeah, I'm editing it today, tomorrow, doing arm swatches, and then you will be seeing this very soon. But she also came out with lip liners and I grabbed one, I was uh, being reasonable. This one is the color Lovecraft, which is one of my favorite color because shocking, look at this color. It's a pinky mauve color. And I just wanted to test the formula and just swatching it here, super pigmented and incredibly creamy. Um, I'm loving this. It just, I feel like sometimes when they're too creamy, you just use them up too quickly, but you get a really good amount of product. So this is what you get. I really hope it goes back down. Yes. There's nothing worse than whenever you do this and then you realize that the product doesn't go back down and you're like, well, shit. This formula seems amazing. So if it works well for me, I will definitely check out for uh, more colors. Not that I need more uh, lip liners because yeah, but it seems very, very good. I feel like I have a couple of the MAC ones and they're so drying. You apply them and they hurt so bad. I tried to swatch them once and I don't think I want to do that ever again, but these are just amazing. If you're not new to my channel, you might know my uh, love story with my Laura Mercier. Uh, this is the matte highlight in 01. I'm absolutely in love with this highlighter. I've been using it nonstop. It's like you can see a little that it's getting flat and I love it, can't go wrong with it. And then I realized Laura Mercier came out with this Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder, which, yes. <laughs> uh, it's one of those like all over the face, uh, not shimmery, like glowy powder. And I got the shade number one and I fell in love with it when I saw it in storage, swatched it. So I ordered it online because they had like no more number one in store. And it looks like just a normal powder, let's be real. But, but you swatch it, it's super, super like finely milled. It feels very, very soft. It has the most natural glow ever. If you really hate highlighters that are intense, that could also be used as a highlighter, but on the face, you will not be able to see this really. Uh, maybe a little shine, but it just gives you such a natural glow and I cannot wait to wear this during the summer. I really like, my skin is oily though, but I like to like just back on the mat mattifying powder and then add a little something glowy. And I feel like this is gonna be working really well. I really like the powder and I love their uh, matte highlighter. So I feel like this will be like the perfect combo together. And this is all I've ever wanted. <laughs> but yeah, if you were looking for a new like natural glow, there's like no shimmer, no glitter in there. Especially if you have dry skin and you feel like you don't want to wear powder because they just dry out your skin. This is just the right in between. And even if you have oily skin like me, you can just pack on the powder that is mattifying and then add this on top. and. Yeah, I'm gonna be letting you know how this goes, but I'm already in love. The next thing, I don't know if I wanna keep it or not. Uh, if you remember in my last haul, I got the Bare Minerals. They came out with the Invisible Glow Powder Highlighter and I fell in love with number one, like literally in love with it. And I thought it was a bit light for me for like towards the summer, but it would have been perfect for the winter and I'm keeping it obviously. I wore it like this week and I really love it. But I wanted to see the number two, but turns out it jumps from like fair light to medium and I feel like it's less dark than I thought at first because if I compare it, 
So you can see this is number one and this is number two. That's why I was like, e, this is such a jump in color. Because this is number one. As you, oh. And number two, it's not that dark when you actually swatch it. So <clears throat> I swatched a finger where I had nothing. Yes, Emily, yes. On my wrist where it's like the lightest, you can definitely see a little bit of color. But I feel like for the summer, that could work. I'm gonna have to let you know if I keep it or not because I'm a little unsure. I really, really love number one, but number two, I don't know if I need to keep this one. Speaking of oily skin, I wanted to try a lot of different foundations because my skin jumped from being really dry to being really oily. And some of the foundations I have, I can still use for both, like this foundation that I've been raving about nonstop, the Lancome Tain uh, Ultra 24 Hour Makeup. And there's a few other ones. Like last summer, I really loved uh, the Urban Decay All Nighter. And as soon as I get more tan, I'll definitely start wearing this again. So there's a few that I can definitely use no matter what. But then some of them I can't use anymore and you might as well just try new things. And I have heard great things about this one. This is the Dior Skin Forever um, Perfect Makeup Everlasting Wear Pore Refining Effect Foundation, SPF 35. And I wanted to get a few foundation for the summer. And yeah, we have this thing because of Canada, we have like that law for SPF. So yeah, don't mind this. But I haven't tried it yet. But I've heard that this is a great one. I also wanted to get the Makeup Forever one, but the shades online, I needed to actually see it in person, so I'll definitely keep you updated. The Matte Velvet one, I've heard that one is great too. If you have any recommendation of like great uh, foundations for matte skin, for matte skin, <laughs> for oily skin, let me know. But I wanted a shade for the summer. Just super liquidy. I got the shade 20. I didn't know which shade to get, to be honest. But I'll definitely uh, let you know how it goes. It's a bit, like, for now it's fine, but, like, for the summer, I don't know if it's going to be dark enough. But, again, I'll play with it. It's definitely, like, full coverage. I've been, like, spreading that little drop on my whole head. And, yeah, there's still plenty. So, coverage seems very good. Ooh. However, there's a lot of perfume in it. I don't know how I feel about this. Ooh. I'm not sure. Uh, I'll try it out, let you know how it goes, but... I don't like when uh, products have perfume whenever they go all over your face. Like lipstick, it just goes, it wears off after a while, but all over your face, my face doesn't necessarily break out from it, but like, I will smell it all day. I'll try it and let you know. I got this VIB Rouge. It means that I spent way too much money this year already. And this year, the VIB Rouge get, I haven't even checked what it was. Oh, it's a brush. It's a best-selling Sephora brand brush. This is the Pro Mini Flawless Brush. I mean, I don't know, I'll try it. I'll let you know how it goes, but it's very, very soft. I need to try more of the Sephora uh, brushes, but you get a little cute little, that's gonna be nice for traveling actually, because it's so small. Our glass came out with those new blushes. Those are the Lightning Blush, and I want to test it out. I got one shade, which this one is Incandescent Electra, and they look like just their usual ones. And this is the inside and it looked absolutely gorgeous and I just wanted to try it. I haven't swatched it yet. Oh, it always hurts to swatch it and now I've ruined it. <laughs> but it looked like such a pretty blush. To be honest, hourglass blushes, they either work for you or they don't. And let's be honest, they only work if you have a light skin. But I really like that like natural effect. But these ones seem to be like more like shimmery than the other ones. So I'll have to test it out. And let you know but as you can see it's just such a like natural little glowy peachy summery shade so i wanted to try it out they also came out with new bronzers so again i picked up one to just see how it went i got the color nude browns uh light which looks like this i really like that marble effect i feel like it's just really really pretty and this is what it looks like it's not overly pigmented but it seems very very finely milled too so this is the color right here which is perfect. I kind of prefer bronzers to be almost a little too natural and I just build them up instead of something that is really intense. I just feel like I have to work that with them too much to try and blend them out. So this is what it looks like. It's really, really gorgeous. Tarte also came out with a bunch of eyeliners and I wanted to try the color Rose Gold and I didn't know which one to get. The one in the pot or the liquid one. So I got both because I wanted to test the formula anyway. So this one in the pot is the Clay Pot Amazonian Clay Waterline Waterproof Liner in Rose Gold. And this looks amazing. I will have to actually try it on my eyes, but I've been really wanting to use uh, Rose Gold Eyeliner, so 
it's gonna be perfect. And the other one is called the Tartiste Pro Glitter Eyeliner. Again, in rose gold. So you get one side that is just like chrome kind of finish and the other one you get the glitter. Is it just a brush? Yeah, it's just a little brushed like this. So, I mean, there's a lot of fun to be had with this. <laughs> and the other side, it's the same brush, yeah. So I'll definitely have to play with it and see if they actually work because sometimes these fl little flimsy eyeliners are not the easiest for me to use, but I feel like I'm gonna have a lot of fun with them. The last thing I got were those uh, YSL lipsticks that I just did a full video on, so if you haven't seen it, I'll link down below, but these are the most gorgeous lipsticks I've ever seen in my entire life, and they look like this. They have the lipstick, and then there's the inside that is the same color with all of them. I didn't realize this until after I uh, filmed the video. They all have that bright pink color in the middle, uh, that is basically the bomb. And this is amazing. I didn't think it would be worth the money to get like a tinted lip balm like this. This particular color is number three. And as you can see, it's pretty sheer, but it's one of the most amazing uh, moisturizing lipsticks I've ever tried. And I've tried a lot. And I know a lot of people I did the video were like telling me that, oh, it's basically like baby lips. And I do not think so. I feel like whenever the balm is gone off your lips, your lips are dry again and just have to reapply constantly. This is not the case with these. They actually moisturize your lips. You can start with dry lips, you wear this, and your lips will moisturize like all day afterwards, even if you don't reapply, which is a big plus to me. It's almost a little oily. It's absolutely amazing. I even let my sister try one of them, and she was one of those being like, it's so not worth the money, it can't be worth the money. She tried it on, and I've had some heavy uh, hints that uh, she wants that for Christmas. So, <laughs> I mean, she absolutely loved it. She tried number uh, seven, which is my favorite one. It's like a corally color that I was wearing and testing in that video and absolutely amazing. So obviously not for everyone if you're on a budget. If you live in Canada, actually, and even US, you can order them online. I would recommend checking the Annabelle Lipsies. It's the closest thing I've ever tried. The only thing is the packaging is obviously not the same but uh, the only, the best colors are definitely the darker ones. So this one definitely has some brighter or lighter shades, but yeah, the Lipsies by Annabelle, I also would recommend if you're looking for moisturizing uh, tinted lip balm that actually moisturize, but these are great. I'm super happy with these and I'm definitely planning on getting more. So that's it guys, those are all the things that I got during the Sephora VIB sale. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what were your favorite things that you got during the Sephora sale, if there's anything else that I should try. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and to subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye.